everyone. Fancy seeing you here in our tight little bathroom. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little cramped. Uh, Kim and I are on our way on another adventure and uh, got the trailer set up, but the slide is uh, still in it. So this is how we can get into our trailer uh, when the slide's in. So anyway, we are a little pressed for time. And so that brings me to my question for all of you. Do you wish you had more time? That's the question. So Kim and I, always seem like we're pressed for time. Anytime we go camping, we go on a trip. The one thing at the end of the trip, we always say to ourselves is, man, we wish we had more time. Uh, today, we're trying to get the trailer loaded up for a weekend trip to the Oregon coast, trying to do it on our breaks and our lunches, uh, just to try to get everything set up. It's a benefit of having the trailer at home, uh, but just like anything else, it just seems like we just don't ever have time. So all joking aside um, with Jason's comments about time and get, squeezing in and out of the bathroom, uh, the, the real purpose with this weekend. So my dad had a stroke uh, last April. Fortunately, it was a light stroke in the realm of strokes, uh, but he wasn't, wasn't able to drive. So he's been cleared to drive and this was the first time he's been able to use his motorhome and camping to him, it, he, he loves going camping. So this was you know, a really big, exciting weekend for us to be able to, to find some spots, have perfect weather down here. The weather turns out the way they say it's supposed to, it, it should be a great weekend. Um, but yeah, all things about time, you always wish you had more time. So any chance you can get to, to spend with fa family and friends and do it, take advantage of it. Howdy neighbors. Hey, how you doing, dude? hey look at all these, look at all these people you have here. Hey, get your antenna out of my spot. It's, it's, uh, the tree. Well, it's going <laughs> down. Oh, hey, that's trespassing, dude. Oh, trespassing. Yeah, more on this side. Now that's daughter and fall oh. <laughs> in the face. Video. Oh, good one. That's quite the pound. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was, I promise I thought it was the camera. Dude. Oh, that was I was thinking, oh man, it's in such good slow motion. That's awesome. I honestly thought it was a camera. All right, so this is something my dad came up with. Um, a, a way to make kindling when you have little short pieces because he just replaced his fence. So, we're gonna see how this goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that chop's easy. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, any of, you, any of our viewers want to buy one? Little tiny ones. It'll be uh, $99.99. How clever. You're like a little kid. Look around on these signs, on these signs for the um, the numbers for the campsites, right? Right. Look, see if you see anything weird. Oh, shoot, your glove. Somebody found it. Yep. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> it's sitting on it. That is too funny. I lost a glove. You know what? And now I found a glove. So it's first thing in the morning here. It's like seven o'clock. Um, I know you can hardly see me. We just got notification that there is a earthquake and a tsunami warning and they're evacuating the entire West Coast. So I'm heading over to my parents. I'm still in my pajamas, heading over to my parents, trying to figure out what are we doing? What are we gonna do? This is crazy. All right, good morning. Morning. Got another question for you. Leave a comment down below. How do you wake up in the morning? <laughs> Did you set an alarm? Do you just naturally get up? Get your coffee, get ready to go. Uh, for Kim and I this morning, we got to get woken up by an evacuation warning. Uh, there was a earthquake in, uh, or no, a volcano erupted in Tonga. Hawaii. Yeah, Tonga. What was the name of the island? Uh, Tonga Wonga Donga? Tonga Honga Tonga Palapea <laughs> or something. <laughs> anyway, There's yeah. Four words, I know that. Yeah, no joke though. Um, sleeping soundly, Kim got a text. I was frustrated said hey Kim you got a text because <laughs> it seems to happen all the time and um, 
come to find out there was a um, tsunami advisory warning, I guess. It's turned into an advisory now um, here on the Oregon coast. They actually said they were going to evacuate the whole entire coast. West coast. West coast. Still. All the way yeah. California, Oregon, Washington. Looks like it's not that bad, uh, or at least it was still kind of in developing stages right now, but um, looks like it's not going to be bad. There's no sirens or anything going off. And so uh, basically all the news uh, folks are just saying, hey, stay away from the actual, you know, walking on the beach and they're concerned about boats and stuff out in the water. But uh, we are supposed to have an extra couple feet waves. So uh, luckily where we're staying here at Fort Stevens, you can drive down near the coast, but you can actually see it, but you don't have to be down walking on it. So we're going to take a trip down there and hopefully see some decent sized waves. Could, abs could be absolutely nothing. Right. Could be just yeah. more fake news, but we're gonna check it out. Or you may not even recognize that the waves are a couple feet taller than right. they normally are. Yeah. We don't know. Let's we'll see. see. Let you go out there. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? We're trying, trying to do, to do the, the same, same thing. thing. Look at that. You can't get anywhere. All right. So unfortunately, a no go on. Uh, seen any waves at this point they've got uh, everything blocked off we tried a couple different entrances and uh, they're just trying to be safe making sure people don't go down and but a lot of people sometimes they'll like to do stupid stuff and get too close to things and There's get swept accidents. away happens every year so uh, anyway we'll wait till they uh, pull some of those cones uh, so we can go out and check it out probably be a couple hours but my guess is even then uh, if there are any good sized waves just uh, should still be able to see them all right so i got a couple sheriffs out here um as you saw, it's blocked off to any vehicle traffic, but since we're staying in the state park, there is, um, you can walk or ride your bike or whatever out here, but they did uh, say that they're closing off the beach. We went up there and just chatted with them real quick and they just said until further notice. So um, you can see they did build up a bunch of sand, um, kind of in anticipation of this thing. I think we're, what'd you say we were like 40? At the campground, we're between high, 30 to 40 feet above sea level. So we think we're, pretty safe in there right. um, and we're a ways in we're probably half a mile yeah from from the ocean so we're not like some of the campgrounds I know like the Halem where we stayed uh, a couple months ago I mean we climb a little hill and we're at the ocean so mm -hmm. they're yeah they may have even evacuated that campground yeah the seas the seas don't look any rougher um, really than normal I mean it looks like there's maybe a few more waves um, out there you can kind of tell a little bit of difference but we're not in any type of danger we yeah. would never do anything that stupid so uh, but you can tell, I mean, they've got sheriffs and stuff out here. And just kind of watching over, make sure nobody gets down close to the water. Where we are, we're in the parking lot, so we're not actually nowhere near the ocean itself. And we're high up yeah. from where the, the right. sea level is. Uh, but but if, we noticed the, the Peter Iredale is um, partially underwater. And, yeah, it, and this is the beach that you can drive on. So with it being underwater. Yeah. Uh, the Peter Iredale is a shipwreck, by the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just in case <laughs> we're like, oh, we know what the Peter Iredale is. Uh, but anyway, so it's... Um, uh, interesting if nothing else it wasn't quite what we had planned for this weekend when nobody thought uh, we we're gonna end up having tsunami warnings and stuff like that but uh, makes it a little bit interesting I guess if nothing else all right so we will not be taking the Delora Dune Trail anywhere today <laughs> Come on, you really got me. Dang it. That ain't funny. Good job. Oh man. It's got the rail so you can bring your stuff in. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, this is freaky in here. Whoa, it's so dark. What are you doing in here? We don't have any food. We have so yeah, some food. Are you guys going to feed? Hey guys, nice. Oh, you want to come over here? Come here. Come on. Now look at we're driving into like nothing. Look at that. Driving into the fog.
So we're at Cape Disappointment, which is just across into the into the state of Washington. And we're hoping to see uh, some a nice lighthouse in a cool little hill here that these waves crash into. But as you can see, we have so much fog you can't see anything out here. The other side of the bridge in Oregon, it's sunny as can be, and then we crossed over here, not even half an hour away and we can't even see 50 yards in front of us. Maybe this is why they call it Cape Disappointment because this is disappointing. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> it doesn't look very comfortable. Maybe they don't want you hanging out for long. <laughs> You'd be hanging out. <laughs> Do you even have like any back support or no, not? There's no, back. no, you just fall. Omega. The other dude's like, come on, I want to go back to sleep. Oh. Oh, you can see their breath. That's crazy. Look at how angry he is. Look at his teeth. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's mine. What were you doing up there? This is the life of living. <laughs> this is the life of living in the last 1985. That's what you do when you have a Murphy bed. And you're not ready to put the bed down. You have to climb up. So you can close the curtains. Because cars are going by. And you don't want to see in your trailer at night. So the lights are on. You can see everything in the trailer. Oh, man. This is the struggle, folks. Okay, everybody, all these other... Folks that make these RV YouTube videos, right? It's always all the great stuff, right? You never see the crazy stuff of Kim doing Spider-Man up the bed to try to close the thing. We are real life. All right, so that's the shipwreck of Peter Iredell. Couldn't get down there yesterday due to the tsunami warning. Now, today, everybody's allowed back on the beach. All right, and just like that, another weekend has come and gone. Uh, we had a great time here at Fort Stevens State Park. Um, there's a lot to do. Uh, fortunately, had that um, tsunami warning, which <laughs> kind of uh, woke us up kind of early one of the days, but at the same time, kind of exciting. So, yeah, I got to spend some time with uh, Kim's parents, you know, just uh, camping out. A lot of time spent by the fire, which we don't normally get to do. Played a lot of games. Uh, went to the beach. Went to um, the museum where all the batteries and stuff are overall just a good time but anyway yeah so kind of like we said before though uh, to kind of start this uh, video out never seem to have enough time that's for sure um, you know weekends go quick you know fortunately we don't do this full time uh, we do have jobs unfortunately where we do have to go back and get back to work but um, three-day weekend was nice just so we didn't have to feel like we we're rushing the whole time and to have a couple nights was cool uh, to be able to spend a lot of time uh, with family and stuff so because right. usually the you know you run out of time with the whole campfire thing i mean the, the mm -hmm. whole one of the whole points at least for us for camping we love hanging around the campfire so it was fun being able to actually do that have dry weather we had great weather this time yeah um, it was on the chilly side but it was dry and bring your bicycles because there yeah, are trails places. everywhere mm -hmm. lots of lots of places you can ride all right hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you next time see ya